Hey, it's Corbett Lunsford from the Building Performance Workshop. I just got into my client's ceiling cavity and I want to show you some of this stuff. So first of all, here is the ceiling level. We're passing through it. Here is an attic space with insulation and roof. You can see the roof rafters right here. Uh, and they're stretching off into darkness with another wall. Now this right here is what I want to show you. This is the border of a little bump out that is for the uh, master bathroom tub. And as you can see, I can stick my camera right up under here and into the underside of the tub. And if I was to knock on that plywood right there, I would be knocking on the underside of the bathtub. This is a problem because we're low in the house. So air comes in through the eaves, through these soffit baffles, and right down there at the end of this chute is outside. That's the eave of the roof. Air comes in through here because it's pushed. We happen to be right on Lake Michigan and there's about a 30 mile an hour wind that's been happening the whole time I've been here. And it's able to get up and into the house through this bypass. Now what's needed is we need to build a block right here so that it's airtight and then we need to make sure that all of this is insulated. But there's this gap that can go right underneath this. And of course, insulation does not block air leakage. Your furnace filter is made out of insulation and air goes right through it. So make sure that if you have this kind of a feature in your house where you've got more corners than you think you have, make sure that there's a block so that air isn't able to travel all over the place. I'm Corbett Lunsford. I hope this hasn't been too technical. Thanks for watching the Building Performance Workshop. Tune in next time.